Ciao a tutti from sunny Melbourne! Fantastic day here in Australia. Have you ever had a photo that you loved except for a tiny small detail that you want to have it to remove or retouch? My name is Steph and I run the travel photography website Mel365 and in this video I'm gonna tell you all about removing or retouching a detail in dark table. Let's get into it! I am on the dark table interface and today I'm gonna work on a photo I made on a fantastic photography trip in Cuba. Absolutely amazing country if you love photography. And I'm gonna work on this photo of this campesino, a farmer that I met into a tobacco farm. The first thing I want to do is to apply a style and if you are unaware of what is a style, I've made a video which I will add in the top right. And uh, I want to use a dreamy bright, double click and it creates a a duplicate of this photo here and now let me go into darkroom and i tell you what i don't like of this photo it is this corner here which is a little bit dark if you compare it to the rest of the background and i want to brighten it up a little bit and i could do that with a spot removal but it's some um, tool that i don't like particularly and i give you also the reason let me take straight away the circle and um, you see that little cross that you can use to define the area where he has to sample from let's put it here and uh, I keep the shift key down and then uh, left click and make a little bit bigger this circle and that's perfect it's all done it seems all done but when you actually don't show the shape you see that it is a hard edge and I try to use a different way to get rid of it with a blending mode but I never found really a great solution and that's why I'm not a fan of this module what I'm a fan of instead is the retouch module and with retouch module things get so much better when you open this module it looks a little bit complicated with uh, wave lab decompose and all of these settings but you don't need actually to go into it what you need to do is to define the kind of shape that you want to use either a circle an oval an area or the brush and then you work on it so let's assume I do the same as before with a spot removal. I have a circle here, I define the area where I want to sample and then shift and left key on the mouse and it's all done. And let me remove the area here and you see there is no hard edge. It's perfect, it's all I need and it's finished. And this takes me to the second part of this video which is about the use actually of a retouch to a deeper level. Now you don't need to go deeper into this tool like for this photo for example if this corner here was all I needed to do then it's finished and uh, absolutely I don't need to go any farther with it but for example for um, skin imperfection you may actually need to do that and for the sake of this video let's assume I want to remove this imperfection here uh, let me zoom in a little bit put right in the center I could do exactly the same as I did before I select the circle for the removal I go right in the spot that I want to remove and I hold the left click on the mouse and I move to the area that I want to sample from for example here and it's all done so it's gone you can see before and after now you may argue that for example there is a repetition here of this pattern here and you may want to do something better and if you want to do that then you have to go in the wave left decompose and the wave left decompose works on different layer of detail but before going into it i want to take a snapshot of what we have done until now with this change now let's remove it let's make it visible right click on the mouse and boom is gone let's open up now the wave left decompose to maybe six layer and these are all layers of different details into your photo and you want to basically use the spot removal here and sample from different areas all around and uh, the blend of these areas will give you probably a better effect of it just sampling from a single area let's do that first thing i do is to go into the bigger details on the right side i activate the wave left scale and you need to define the single scale to use here and the best way to do it is just to go in auto and you see all of the details 
of the skin, the big details, as I said. So now let's get again the spot removal, and I do sample here, but I go on the top. Now I go down into the smaller details, and I sample on the left side. I go down one scale again, and I sample here on the top right, and then I go down here in the smaller details. As I go smaller, I don't see any more of the spot that I want to remove and let's go down again and I think I don't see any more of a spot here and the smaller detail I don't see it again anymore and now I go back to the photo and it's all done it's been removed spotting from different area of the skin is the job better than actually sampling from a single area well we can see with a snapshot on the left side when we sample from a single area on the right side when we sample from different areas so this is from different areas and this is from a single area to me there is not that much of a difference that makes an effort to do a spot removal for all of the different layers but depends also on the photo of course so I leave it to you to judge the important thing is that you know how to do it now another thing I wanted to tell you is about the algorithm that you use and you can use the healing algorithm the cloning algorithm the filling algorithm which basically fills the spot with a dark color or the blurring algorithm personally I mostly use the healing algorithm because I get the best results but I guess it depends on the photo too. And that's it about this video. I hope you enjoyed and you find it useful. In case, put a like. Really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel and tick that little bell to get a notification about next video. A big ciao ciao from Melbourne. Bye bye.